Everybody, it's Bruce from Nature Calls. I'm going to show you how to wash a down sleeping bag, or it could be a down coat, or any other down gear that you have. I'm going to be using the Granger's uh, Down Care Kit. It comes with plenty of fluid, probably to do, you know, two or three sleeping bags and some coats. So it's a real nice kit. It comes with little balls. I'm going to be using uh, my old North Face uh, down sleeping bag. I've had this over 20 years. It's So it doesn't have the hydrophobic down, it doesn't have um, any DWR probably left on the outside. So this would be awesome to get this up to today's standards. I also do lots of videos like these. I've done lots of videos on gear maintenance in the past and will in the future. So please consider subscribing. Let's go give it a wash. Oh. Kind of seeing my, part of my gear fest. Also like here's a, Steaks galore are all on top of the washing machine. Real excited because Granger's we couldn't get here in the United States for a long time. It's made in, in England and they sent me this down care kit. So I'm going to give the down care kit a try and I've got a not only cleans but it treats it with a, uh, a hydrophobic down treatment. So it, it puts a, a repellency on it. So it takes an old bag like this old North Face and uh, kind of brings it up to today's standards. No rips and tears on it, got it fully unzipped. Now if you don't have a front loading washer, I highly recommend going to a laundromat. Um, one thing with laundromats is you don't know what someone before used. So when you look in the little cups make sure they're super clean cups i'll go before i had my own front loader i would go and uh, i'd look at all the different washing machines to uh, find the one that was cleanest so i'm just going to do one bag at a time i'm going to do some some uh some coats and other things that i've got going on i'm going to do this a bag to begin with and i've also taken some untreated down out of a cheap coat and put it in this little packet here so later on we can do a side-by-side -side test to see if it actually did apply some water repellency to it so that goes in a, a, a hint to all the manufacturers out there um, and grangers please make your print a little bit bigger i just find it so irritating that you make the print so small and a lot of companies do this i mean they're more they're more interested in making their big thing like we did this in England but I can barely read without using strong glasses to um, to read how to use it but it is environmentally responsible it's water-based typically formulated to clean and reproof all natural and synthetic downfilled articles in a single wash cycle powerful cleaning combined with durable water repellency maximizes the performance of all downfield clothing and geared to keep you warmer and drier and it includes dryer balls so normally you would use like a tennis ball or some tennis shoes to to re-fluff it but they provided these little balls they're pretty trick we'll see how those work but for a sleeping bag always shake this up real good but for a sleeping bag three capfuls and for like a coat uh, you'd only use, you know, some quarter smaller pieces. You'd only need to use two, but for a sleeping bag, use three capsules. So there again, at the at the laundromat, look at these compartments. Make sure that they're clean. Got this all shaken up, and they say three capsules. You want it at a thirty degree. So with mine. Uh, 30 degrees Celsius, 86 Fahrenheit. For me, that would be not extra hot, but above warm. Let me put that to delicates. Temperature is at above warm, soil over light. Spin speed is at light. Okay, I think we are set. And away we go. Okay, so we've got it all washed. 
nice soggy sleeping bag. There it is. There's our little test piece. So into the dryer, in with the three fluffer balls. Now they say they do a medium delicate dry this level more top okay so we got it set but we got the the temperature down below low right there okay, this is the, the te wow look at that that's great nice repellent on the fabric even the pool down there nice okay we've got everything uh washed now i'm gonna do the feather, the wet feather test. So this is the little packet that of down that I put through the wash at the same time as I did that sleeping bag. Get a little more down out of this coat that my sacrificial down coat. It's just a cheap um, coat of my daughter's. So this is the the one that's been treated with the Grangers, this is without. Let's see the without. Okay, this is the with. All right. So this is without, this is with. Definitely see. Difference there, let's do the shake test. Hmm, that actually did pretty good. Shake test. No, they both seem to be repelling water pretty well. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best to test, but this is the this is the Granger's. That uh, is definitely repelling water. All right, so there we go. Nice new up-to-date sleeping bag. Um, my little down test was a little bit inconclusive, but considering how water repellent the outside of the sleeping bag became, I would assume that there's probably some benefit to the down that is inside the sleeping bag. It, it wasn't a downproof sleeping bag before. So uh, these little balls, I found um, the best way on my particular machine was to do it as a timing type of thing and I and I would go every 20 minutes just go in shake it out find the clumps and uh, try and declump as best I could shake it real good and then I put it back in for another 20 minutes um, but yeah this worked this worked just awesome um, and Granger's I know is highly touted around the world so that's that's going to be good if you like these kind of videos please uh, consider subscribing and maybe heading over to the patreon page because I'm going to be doing a ton more of these. All right, see you out on the trail. Bye now.